Hey everybody, Nina here of She Knows SEO, and today we're gonna to be going over how to make images with ChatGPT. I shared a few that I kind of randomly decided to make for a presentation um, in my Facebook group, <clears throat> pardon me, and everyone really liked them. Now they're not perfect, I think this is the best one by far, but you can still see like the text on the vest of the service dog is not great. Um, this one is really pretty, and I think you don't notice that the text is completely nonsensical on the dog. Um, this one I love, except that the eight is really half a three. I don't know, but they're really, really good considering to create them. All I had to do was input one line of text. So I'm going to show you guys how you can do the same, and we can create all sorts of cool images with ChatGPT. Now to do this, you need to have a GPT-4 account. And what you're going to do is hover over the GPT-4. This is also how you turn on any plugins. So you can see right now I have plugins turned on. You're going to have to switch over to Dall E3. And this used to show up when you logged in, but they've moved it inside of ChatGPT now. And it is free with the GPT-4 account. There is a cap I saw on Twitter, but I don't know how many it is. And I generated a lot in like an hour yesterday and I felt fine, like um, in terms of like the amount I made and I never hit a limit so whatever now you're just gonna ask it to please uh, create an image of a I don't know what do I want to create an image of um, golden retriever eating pizza and it does it is slow I will say that it takes a few minutes so you're gonna have to be patient um, but all you have to do is input a line of text and it will give you a great output now, if you want very specific things, if you want it to be an illustration versus a realistic image, if you want it to be um, to have text on it, specify any text you want written on it, it's decent, but it's not great. <laughs> so just while it's thinking, um, oh no, I think if I leave while it's thinking, it's gonna stop generating. Oh, there we go, okay, perfect. Those are really good, I really like those. <laughs> The first one looks fake photoshopped, but the other three, like this one of the dog chowing down is amazing. I love that. Oh my God. And so what you can see here is like in the prompt that it would tell you to give to create this, it says photo of a golden retriever in a kitchen setting, holding a piece of pizza with its paw and taking a bite. Now you'll also notice that works really well as alt text. And that's what I've been doing when I've been using them is I just take the prompt for alt text, which works really, really well. Um, and I might need to adjust it a little bit. Like if this was about what foods you can't feed your dog, I might say, this is a fake photo, <laughs> like do not do this or something. Um, but you can then just go through and see all of them. And so this one as well, you can see it's a drawing. I think this one will be like a cartoon or illustration. Yep, illustration. And what's this one gonna be? Photo. So the ones that I made before that I showed y'all, this was an illustration. This was a watercolor, which I thought was really interesting. This was an animation or cartoon. And this one was also an illustration. So you can see that like the style for illustration changes. And now these ones, I don't see any glaring flaws. I mean, this one is obviously it looks photoshopped, but I don't see any glaring issues with it where something massively doesn't make sense <laughs> in terms of um, the AI generation. But sometimes there are. Oh, here, I guess the tongue is on top of the pizza. It's a little bit weird. So if you're going to be like really inspecting these, just know that it is not perfect. It will get things wrong. You can keep readjusting it a bit if you want. Um, but I want to show you uh, a selection I made before where I was trying to get it to um, create me some interesting mock-ups for different things for um, She Knows SEO. So if it will let me click. Sorry, my computer's been weird lately probably because I have a million tabs open. So this looks really good, right? Except if you look really closely, it's I can't like improve like uh, zoom in right now for some reason. But travel blog, real words, the things around it, not real words. <laughs> and so if someone was just using this as a thumbnail image, who cares? No one can see it. That's fine. If you're trying to like, I don't know, frame this on your wall massively, that's going to be an issue. 
this is the one I find the funniest. Um, it's supposed to, I guess I just like asked it to do a travel blog and then it kind of mixed up the three images down here. So this woman has a camel head for an arm at one point, um, which I think is so funny. And it does do that, especially for the photo ones. It will make a lot of mistakes. Like I also don't know what these like white rocks are or why someone would have those on their desk, but like it has it. And oh, I should have said, sorry, when you guys are in there, open back up, please. I'm going to have to give my computer like some TLC at this point. It is mad at me. <laughs> there we go. You can either just like uh, right click and save it, or you can hit up here and download it. Um, and this will download it to your laptop. Let me just try to see if it will let me do it. There might be an update I need to do to be fair. And you will see that it is, here it is, a PNG if you do it this way. If you right click to save it, it's going to be a WebP, which is actually kind of good for you to be honest, because like that's what we want. Okay, I don't know why it's, Chrome and my laptop hate each other today. But yeah, this is how you create them. Um, then I just copy this and I'm gonna take it and pop it into the alt text and we're good to go. I cannot speak to the legalities of using this. I cannot speak to, um, like I totally understand that there's issues with it being trained on artists and things like that. I, I get that and with this, unlike with the writing where we can redo it kind of with our prompts, we kind of can't do that here. So it is up to you to determine if you want to use this. Um, I also do not know the specific legalities of using it in posts or, well, I know that you're like allowed to, but for resale purposes, I believe that you can't. Um, people are, so it's up to you. I'm personally not gonna go down that route, but right now I'm mainly using it for um, I'm following Tony Hill's Google Discover. Like basically I, I got all of his email newsletters about it and I'm trying to just go through his processes and see how it works for me on a couple different niche sites. And for some stuff on She Knows SEO where I always just have like flat lays that I purchased, like this would be kind of a flat lay where it's just a bunch of stuff on a desk. They all kind of look the same and they're not very travel specific. So I really wanted to try this to create something a bit more custom. And if you take a look at some of the posts on Shino's SEO, you will start to see these crop up more and more, and especially for featured images, um, to try and get them on Google Discover a bit more. You do not need AI generated images for Google Discover, I will say, but that is one thing that Tony Hill mentioned in his um, one of his newsletters of how he's doing it right now. So that's what we're doing and that's what we're testing. So I hope this really helped you guys and it is super fun. You can definitely waste a lot of time playing with this. Um, if you have Jasper as well, Jasper has this built in, but you have to pay an additional amount for it. Um, initially, it was free to anybody with, I believe the boss mode account, the old one. Um, and then it became like a bit of extra money to use it. Um, but theirs is pretty cool because you can upload a photo of like, I remember when they first launched this and I had so much fun with it. You upload a photo of your own dog and it'll cartoonify your dog or like watercolor your dog and things like that. And then you can like use a character you've made essentially in a variety of scenes for something like a book. Um, and theirs is with the intent that you could resell it. Again, I don't know the full legalities of that, but it's there. There are tons of AI image generators. I've tried Canvas and it is so horrible. <laughs> Um, so I wouldn't use that one, but mid journey is supposed to be really cool. There's so many. I just like that this is included in my chat GPT account. Um, I don't need to do anything special. The prompts do not have to be very good and I can work with chat GPT to adjust it as you saw here where I was like, okay, actually none of those are correct. Someone shouldn't have a camel coming out of their arm. Let's try again. Um, sometimes I would try and ask it to change certain colors or adjust things. It's not perfect at it, like the photo, um, oops, over here. Uh, this one you can see it has three hiking poles. So I was trying to get it to have just one hiking pole and it couldn't figure that out. Same with like the service dog vest, it couldn't figure that out. It's a pretty easy Photoshop fix though, if you really like cared about that. Um, and then this one, I wanted to try and make the dog more orange because my dog is more orange. And I was like, you know what? It did a pretty good job. I could very easily, again, in Photoshop um, or GIMP, which is a free Photoshop equivalent, if y'all didn't know. Um, it's the one that I first used when I was a kid because I was a very boring kid and I coded websites and like for each of my dogs and then would like 
animate them into things essentially and edit them into scenarios. It was very weird. Um, I needed to get outside, <laughs> but you can just do that and then just color the dog a different color pretty easily. Um, it also isn't very good at identifying a single object inside of the image. So like with this one, when I tried to get it to turn the dog orange, it kept turning the sweater orange instead. Um, and every time I regenerated it, it would change the background in the street just a little bit. So it's not perfect, but it's pretty good. Um, and yeah, and it's also just fun to play with. It's an interesting thing. And yeah, I would use this for some slides for a service dog presentation I'm doing soon. Um, and it looks really, really, really cool, which I think is epic. So I hope this helped. If you guys would like any more tips on AI and things like that, the best place is to follow me on YouTube or to come to my Facebook group, SEO for Travel Bloggers. It is free. You do not have to be a travel blogger to join. Any blogger is welcome. I might one day change the name of the group to reflect that, but really anybody can show up. Um, and to check out my ChatGPT blogging blueprint course, it is sheknowsseo.co slash everything. Also, I'll link it below, but I'm going to be adding something about AI images into it uh, because I've never used them before. So I'm learning and every time I learn and adjust things, I adjust my courses as well. Hope you guys have a lovely day and I will see you very soon.